Hey guys, Infidel1258 here. So today we're going to talk about getting access to your Hive blockchain once you've created a Splinterlands account. How do you do it? Why would you do it? And, you know, what are the steps involved? So we're going to get through all of that. And it's been a frequently asked question, so I want to, you know, help you guys out with that. But before we do, my name is Dwayne Cunningham and I go by Infidel1258. And if you're new to the channel, we cover Splinterlands all day, every day, because it's changed my life and I think it can change yours. If that sounds interesting, stick around with the channel, like and subscribe, and I'll try to give you good value, tips, tricks uh, that you can take advantage of that are going to help you to maximize your rewards for your time and attention. That's my hope for this channel. And that's my, you know, kind of invitation to you guys. So if that sounds interesting, make sure you stick around. Let's get into it. So the first thing is, presumably you have an account, but if you don't, you would come in here and you would go into login and you would create an account. If you've never played Splinterlands before, you could do it that way. And if you did it that way, um, it's going to give you a whole, whole window where you need a, a unique email address. At this time, you would need an, a new email address for every account you create. You're going to confirm. You're going to give the referral account name. Um, if you're interested in supporting the channel right now, I would say that you use time and attention, time and attention that will give some credits that cost you nothing that go to the support the channel and the guild. Okay. But I'm going to assume you've done this. You already have an account. You just want to know how to get your hive account. So we'll close that window. We'll go ahead and we'll log in. Now, First, you need to understand that once you have your Hive account, it opens up a, a, a wealth of extra security. So that's one of the reasons why you would want to have access to those keys. If you're new to blockchain, all blockchains have private and public keys. Public keys are the basic level of information relating to your account that essentially it's like an email address. Anybody can know your email address. It does you no harm. But the private keys, it's like having the keys to your house. That is dangerous to just give out to anybody. So your public keys, you share readily so that people can send you correspondence, send you money, send you monster cards, send you uh, DEC stuff, it, it just generally send you things. There's no harm in you sharing your public key, public keys, but there is harm in sharing private keys. Having access to a game like this that can snowball into thousands and tens of thousands of dollars worth of wealth. It's really important that you have access to your private keys, that you have access to your private keys that no one else does, and that you have a greater level of security than what can be offered by just signing in with email. Okay. So that's why we're doing this, um, because it will add security right now with time and attention. I have to go on to the use email slash password window here. And it's going to, I can go ahead and enter TNA 1258 at Gmail and it auto populates my password. And then I can go ahead and log in. And that's a very simplistic level of security. We need to get those keys and then we need to change this password even. Okay. So we go and we, we start by you're assuming you, you started the game already. You're, this is where you're at. You've created an account. You have an email password. And you're going to log in like this. And now you want that extra security. So you're going to go over here to the right hand side of the window and you're going to see your name. It's going to say one, two, three, Joe or whatever. And you're going to click on that and you're going to click, you're going to scroll down until it says request account keys right there. That, that's going to open up a new window. We'll click on it now. And it says request keys. The Splinterlands game runs on the Hive blockchain, which means that your account is also a Hive blockchain account which can be used as a wallet for hive based tokens and for accessing hive based applications, such as the one I just showed you, which is hive keychain. Hive keychain is a, you, um, it's an extension that you put on your browser and it stores those private keys in a secure manner that can then allow you to enter into hive websites with a lot more ease. So that's a, That's one example. The hive blog is another, this is hive blog. I've got a whole set of, you know, historic blogs that I would have received cryptocurrency for those rewards that I'm, that I ha have previously received for these posts 
would have been paid to me in cryptocurrency. It ends up in the wallet that right here, and then it's stored securely. All of that is associated with creating and managing your Hive account. Back to Splinterlands. You may request the private keys to the Time and Attention Hive account by clicking the button below. When you request your keys, an email will be sent to the email address on file for the account with a one-time link. Active for 24 hours, and that will allow you to retrieve your private keys. So I press the submit request, and then it's going to send me a link to the private email. And then I'm going to be able to follow through on that and access those keys. And if, this is super important. And this is true of all cryptocurrency. Please note that it's your responsibility to store them securely and not lose them. Splinterlands is not responsible for lost or stolen keys, which may result in lost funds or assets. If you lose your private keys, if you share them with the wrong person, that account is compromised and all the assets can be removed without your approval. The private keys is ownership. So it's important that you have that power in your hands and no one else's. And so go through this process, you click on submit request, but I've already done that. We're just gonna, I'm gonna close this window. You'll, you will have clicked on that and it's gonna send you that email. Now it might be right away and it might be in a few hours. It said within 24 hours, but you're gonna get an email. And the email is gonna be from Splinterlands. This one is from rexy at splinterlands.com. Make sure you're looking for that, you know, assurance. Right? It's not from like server dot, you know, virus dot com. Um, you want to see that it's from splinterlands.com and you want to see this titled account key request. And it's going to say something professional and there's not going to be any spelling mistakes, right? Like, look, use your due diligence when you're reading the emails and, and you're trusting links that you're clicking on the right links. It says, we have received a request to retrieve the hive keys from the splinterlands account. You may use the link below to retrieve your keys. You will be required to enter the email address and the password associated with the account. And the link will be valid for 24 hours. So I'm going to go ahead and click on it. This is my email address. Okay. So then after that window, it's going to, you input your, like I said, you input your email, your password, and it's going to give you your master password, your various private keys for Hive Blockchain. It's your responsibility to save these keys securely and to not lose them. You, you may change your keys and master password at, at wallet.hive.blog. That's an important next step. If you want to be personally responsible, you should go through this step, uh, changing your keys and master password at this website. If you do that, you're going to you're going to essentially be entirely responsible with Splinterlands no longer having access to the, that data. And that's probably beneficial to you because even though Splinterlands is a trusted source, there's potential, you know, hack concerns or whatever. So wouldn't it be even more secure if you just went that next step? But I'm not going to go there today because today was really just about accessing your Hive account and linking it within the Splinterlands new account you've created. And, and again, this is going to add security, an enormous amount of security to your, to your game and to the assets you accrue within that game. These keys are going to be important for adding security, but they're also going to be important for adding convenience. And the convenience is going to be things like the Hive keychain that is allowing you to easily enter in and out of whether it's splinterlands.com, whether it's Hive engine um, for trades, whether it's um, peak monsters, whether it's the Hive blockchain or Splinter, SplinterTalk.io, all of these different websites and these extensions, they're they're adding convenience and opportunity to your time and attention within Splinterlands, and sometimes earning potential also. So this is super important, and it's that easy. It's literally create the account, request the keys, follow the link, and there you go secure those those private keys so that nobody can receive them other than you and that's that's it we'll leave it there thanks for your time and attention if you have any questions leave them in the comment section below have an amazing day god bless